Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to have a look at the Pepper Shaker. So for those that don't know, the Pepper Shaker comes from, or the, or the plan for it rather, comes from Graham's Meat Cook. And it's rather unique in that it benefits both from heavy gun perks and shotgun perks. It's been in the game for a couple of years. Uh, when it was brand new, I think I tried it a little bit, you know, not much. And that was about it. So I can't really tell you what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, because I didn't give it much of a chance. So I thought it was time to give it another go. So what I did, I rolled about, uh, I think, a dozen of them. And this was the best one that I got, an Aristocrats, with faster fire rate and a, uh, a third star that doesn't really benefit us at all. Now, the mods for the gun, I chose a dual barrel. That seemed like the best... The best blend of damage and fire rate. I'm not sure if that's the best one to use or not, but that's the one I chose. I chose the laser magazine, and mainly that was just for uniqueness, uh, something I prefer. Uh, the standard magazine uses shotgun shells, plasma magazine uses uh, plasma cartridges, and the laser magazine uses fusion cells. Uh, the thing about the laser magazine, it does the same amount of energy damage as a plasma. So I think you're going to get the same either way. The standard magazine gives you the same base damage, but no elemental damage. I chose a gunner sight, thinking it might increase accuracy, but it's, in terms of the, the, aiming, the aiming crosshair, I don't notice any difference at all. So I don't know if the gunner sight actually does anything, but I left it on there just for fun. And I did want to spec out the character to benefit from the Pepper Shaker as much as I possibly could. So I've used rank one of both the uh, heavy gunner perks and the shotgunner perks for damage. And because it only holds 50 rounds, I wasn't able to roll a quad. That's kind of what I was hoping for was a quad Pepper Shaker, but I wasn't able to roll one. So we will be reloading an awful lot. I have rank three of lock and load for 30% faster reload and rank three of scattershot for 30% faster reload. And I did test this and they actually do stack. So it, both of these cards work. And I have Skeet Shooter for greater uh, spread and accuracy. And that actually does, that does help with the crosshair. So when you're hip firing, this actually does help with accuracy. And Stabilized does the same thing. So it increases accuracy even more. And I kind of went all in on crippling as well. So I have the Enforcer perk, which uh, has a 30% chance to cripple a limb and 15% 50 chance to stagger. And one gun army, which has a 12% stagger chance and a 12% cripple chance. So I should be crippling quite a lot with this. Now you can see the size of the crosshair because we have uh, two perks that benefit uh, spread and accuracy. Our crosshairs are nice and small, which should benefit a lot just running around hip firing. I don't plan to use this in VATS, anything like that. It's just hip firing. Now this is a spin up weapon. And you can see the cripple is pretty instantaneous. And the damage is pretty good. This does chew through ammo quite a bit, but with crippling, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, this this is one of those things where it's just, it, it has a spin up, but other than that, I mean, the enemies are pretty immobile. You just cripple them instantly. So it's kind of fun. Good way to deal with mobs. But yeah, it does, it does chew through ammo and you will reload quite a bit, which is why I have two reloading perks. But if you look at how, let's get that. Oh, I leveled up. That does not happen very often. All right, so let's do a reload. Yeah, the reloads are pretty quick. And if I had a, if I had a gun, I was hoping to roll something that had faster reload as well. Because I think on this, this particular weapon, the way I'm using it, I don't really think any other third star would benefit us at all. It's either faster reload or everything else. I'm not using it in VAT, so, you know, reduced AP cost, doesn't matter. Faster crit meter, doesn't matter. Even reduce weight, because I have the, uh, what is it, scatter shot, which gives uh, weight reduction already. It, it, oh, something's here that I missed. Whoa, okay, rubber banding, yikes. Must be down below. There we go, he has a spin-up weapon, I do too. There we go. So this actually kills pretty well. I mean, these are not necessarily crazy high level super mutants, but this does a good job. Yeah, it kills stuff reasonably quickly. It's, you know, the spin up kind of makes it uh, feel longer, but yeah, it has nice, uh, because I because I took advantage of both the shotgun perks and the uh, oh, cripple right away, because I took advantage of both the shotgun perks and the heavy gunner perks, accuracy, hip fire accuracy is really good. Now, the crippling can come in a really handy when you're fighting a Mirelert Queen. So we will get to her after we get to some other stuff. Yeah, those reloads are nice and snappy. The one, the one downside about this is that uh, because it is a spin-up weapon, 
you have to wait for the weapon to spin down before you can reload, which I, it's not a mechanic that I love. Okay, I did hear shooting. Where are all the enemies here? Did everyone just uh, murder suicide? I guess so. Maybe everything will show up when we get the My Other Queen out here. That's very odd. I'm on a private server, so it's not like somebody else would have been here already, but it is what it is. So there is the queen. I would like her to get on land a little bit instead of having to fight in water if I can get her to come up here. Her poison shouldn't do anything since I've got union. Yep, she's an insta cripple right there. Yeah, th this thing is great. If you like crippling enemies and you find it entertaining, like I do, this is, uh, this is definitely because of the, okay. Problem is you get staggered during the reload and it just takes longer, but yeah, everything's crippled. Eh. Everything is limping. Yep, crutches, crutches for everybody. This thing works great. Yeah, quad would be amazing for this. But yeah, if you if you do the reload before the uh, before it's done spinning up or spinning down rather, it doesn't happen at all. So you really have to time this. The damage is okay. I mean, it's definitely I wouldn't say it's the strongest heavy gun. That's for sure. But when you combine it with the crippling, that makes it very effective. So even if you're not killing stuff right away, you can. Uh, <laughs> You can kind of knock it out of the fight until you're ready to deal with it, which is kind of cool. And I like the sound. It has, definitely has a unique sound, which I like. It's nice when you get a weapon that has kind of unique characteristics. I probably could just bash them instead of wasting the ammo. This thing does does chew through the ammo, though. That's uh, in the little bit I played around with this when I rolled it. It uh, definitely chews through ammo. There we go. But it also chews their enemies, so that's uh, that's okay. Now, something I haven't tried is a Scorch Beast. I want to see if I can uh, get it to land or how how easy it is to get it to land. This doesn't have tremendous range. It's actually pretty short, but that should be enough to cripple it. Yeah, the range on this is uh, what is that? 96. So it doesn't have it doesn't have crazy long range. But as long as it has enough, and they're all crippled. Yeah, the constant reloading is a pain. I really think you want a quad with this. It didn't land anywhere near me. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, if I crippled you, you should at least have the courtesy to land in my neighborhood. Well, okay, this is doing actually pretty good work. Let's see if I can take it down before reloading. Well, probably if I could have hit my shots. But since I am a poor aim, there we go. Yeah, that actually went pretty well. It landed uh, crippled rather easily, and yeah, for crippling enemies, this is uh, <laughs> this is pretty good. So it's time to have some more fun with crippling. So we have our big scare green monster, and boom, just like that. I think. Yep, that's for sure. Yeah, he's on his knees, and since he's a melee character, he can't do anything to me. Look at that, and I didn't even have to reload. Nice, 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 nice. And there you have it. Uh, I really like this gun. Uh, there are some caveats to it. Uh, the first, I mean, it's, it is great that you, you can benefit from two different uh, perk trees, both shotgun and heavy guns. The problem is if you're specking for this, it can kind of get in the way of, you know, if you're carrying more than one kind of weapon, you're kind of getting in the way of that a little bit. But if you can live with that, and obviously if you are a low health character, you can kind of do without the extra damage cards because you're going to get it enough that way anyway. So you can maybe have a little bit of flexibility with that. But since I'm full health, I kind of have to go all in on this weapon if I'm going to use it. At least get the maximum benefit from it. Uh, the 50 round magazine is another thing. That's that's kind of a pain just because the reload requires you to kind of have the weapon spin down. So the reload, even if you have quicker reload uh, and the perks for faster reload, it's still going to be a little bit just because you have to wait for the weapon to spin down. So if you can get a quad one of these, that would be perfect. Uh, I think I'll probably keep rolling and try and get one. And it does seem to go through ammo quite rapidly. So that's another thing. Is if you can keep it stocked, that's great. But overall, I really do... Uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. If you like crippling enemies, this is this is definitely the, the weapon for you. If you like crippling enemies and you're wearing power armor, this is it. This is the weapon for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.